My name is Jeremiah. Thanks for joining me. Happy New Year 2018. Or is it 2019? My project is a large 3D printer. If you haven't caught my last couple episodes, they'll be linked up here in the top. You should probably check those out because you might be a little confused about what's going on in this one. I'm building a CNC machine that could be used for 3D printing or multiple other processes. So I'm starting out with a 3D printer, but we'll see where it goes from there. The idea behind the connection here is I want it to be strong enough to handle the connection between these two parts uh, and not break before the motor gives out. So if the motor gives out first, that's good because it'll trip the sensors and the whole machine will shut down rather than it keep going for a little bit and causing some way other problems more than likely. That's worst case scenario. Uh, but you really want this connection to be nice and strong. You never ever want this to break. So um, I was thinking, I uh, can't really see it on the camera angle here. There's a couple holes drilled in here and I'm thinking about just drilling and tapping directly into this plate and securing it. And two of them line up pretty well, but the top one is overshooting. Um, so I need a little piece of metal to stick in there to handle that. And I think I'm going to use this little motor mount that actually came with the uh, ball screw. This doesn't actually fit in this application because there's two tight tolerances between the it's what it's mounted to and the ball screw itself. So this is just spare parts at this point. So I think I'm going to repurpose it, the metal of it anyway, and make it a motor mount. For, for the top screw hole here. So instead of just two into a, mm, it's a thick plate, but not thick enough for my liking. So instead of two drilled and tapped holes, I'm gonna have three um, with a little bit of extra help. Hopefully that should hold it. So I'm thinking about a half an inch should work by about an inch long, somewhere around there. Should be able to chop that right out of that block. All right, take one from this old Tony's playbook and Now I just got to drill and tap a couple holes in the bottom here and one right in the middle right there. And I'll connect to that top hole. So two in the plate, one in this connector block. And that'll do it. All right, breaking out the transfer punch set again to mark the hole locations pass throughs to the plate from these three holes here and into this connector block. So get that done. All right, those are the center punched locations. I don't know if you can see those on video too well but one up top, two on the bottoms. All right, just got all that work putting this thing together. Now I gotta tear it apart to get that plate off. Fun. All right. Just gonna slide this jet wheel. Uh, ooh. All right. She's free. 
one's higher than the other because the nut uh, can pivot. So one's sort of directly in the middle where that one's riding a bit higher because the nut in the track can pivot a little bit. So that's okay. I think I'll try to account for that in the drilling and adjust those so they're even. Automatic center punch. You should get one if you don't have one. Okay, here's the damage so far. Drill down through that plate. So two bolt, there's one under that clamp there. Two holes there, and then three holes here in the front. Now I just got to run some threads down. And that worked good. This one is slightly lower than I wanted. My drill bit started to wander on me a bit. Hopefully that won't be too big of a deal. It's only like a 16th off, but Sixteens matter. So you have to invest in tools, and I highly suggest don't cheaping out on clamps. Get them in all sizes and good quality ones, okay? You never have too many clamps. Any fabrication guy will tell you that, and I'm no different. Clamps, buy them in bulk. I get most of mine at yard sales, garage sales, online in like bulk. Tool sales. Okay, we'll put this back on here in those drilled and threaded holes using two 20 millimeter long, five millimeter thick screws. Is it screwing or is it just, oh, there it goes. Okay. All right, one down. Drop it on the ground, that's great. No, I won't edit that out. I, I'm Butterfinger sometimes. Okay, make sure she's nice and flush. Cinch her on down. Um, not going to do it now, but later on, I'm trying to make sure that's, it's sticking out a little bit, so. Later on, I'll pull these off and lock tight these so they don't vibrate loose. Lock tight is absolutely essential. Don't skip on it if you're putting together anything that vibrates. 
And if you ever put a subwoofer in your car or something like that, it may be a good idea to take out some bolts and put, on, put some Loctite on those where your whole engine will rattle apart. I think subwoofers are death for a car. Okay. Okay, there she is. It looks a little goofy. Just an aluminum block just tacked on there. But she should work. And it kind of kind of looks like a little face, like it's smiling at you. So I got a big problem with the fitment or the fit up. The bottom two holes are actually lower than they should be and the screws won't fit. I kind of saw it coming with one of them, but I didn't expect the other one not to fit either. So I can only fit one screw right now and that's the one into the main pillow block up here at the top, which actually fits pretty well. But the ones on the bottom aren't fitting and I'll need to ream out these hole sizes. I'm sorry, I can't get the camera angle in there. It's just too tight of an angle. But if I ream those out, I should be able to get those screws in there. So I'll do that off camera. We'll get it fitted up. But now it is actually working. I can come over to the side. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but rotating that and it actually is connected to the plate and it spins ever so nicely. Now that's an actuator you can do some work with. Stay tuned for the next one. We'll get this fit up and get the motors mounted. Okay, Google. Turn off the work lights, please. You got it. Turning two lights off.